Hey guys, Anthony here for Signal by Sony in Southern California, where we have a special opportunity. We got a few minutes to sit and talk with Kaz Harai here. Uh, we have questions that you sent us on Twitter and Facebook, and uh, Kaz is gonna take some time to answer them. Thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here. I wanted to start off with a couple about mobile. We got a lot of mobile questions, and I know you guys have been refocusing on mobile a lot over the last year. First one comes from Sonny Rocker, who is curious as to whether there are going to be clearer definitions between an entry level, uh, a mid-range, or a high-end phone, and if there's going to be any sort of streamlining or consolidation of the mobile product line. We do plan to make sure that we have a clearly defined lineup. Um, so, you know, what is a premium smartphone, what is midline, and in some territories where it's required, you know, what really is an entry level. Mm -hmm. uh, and we want to make sure that whether it's features, whether it's design, uh, whether it is uh, the connectivity uh, that uh, the consumers really understand, you know, what level they're getting into as they uh, pick and choose between different models that we have. Next up, there has been some criticism on the speed of updating existing models to new versions of Android. Uh, we got a lot of questions about that. Uh, Robert Mikaja and Devajanesh Yadav were a couple people who asked, uh, what's your commitment on staying current on Xperia handsets with current versions of Android? Really depends on the model, really depends on the territory. Overall, uh, what we try to do is make sure that we're covering as many models and as many territories as possible. Uh, but, you know, the realistic scenario is that sometimes we do need to prioritize. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'd like to get it to as many of the phones as, as possible and, and to upgrade them as quickly as possible. Matthew Charles Cole wants to know what inspired you to get started with Sony in the first place? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, as you probably know, I actually joined Sony Music uh, in Japan. Uh, this is back in 1984. Um, and really the reason why I joined the music company was because I wanted to really be a part of a process where we're bringing, you know, uh, this spirit of moving people emotionally to our customers, uh, music customers back then. Uh, but certainly through my career at the music company, certainly at PlayStation, and now, uh, you know, overall Sony, including the electronics company, it's again all about bringing that uh, excitement, uh, really fulfilling the curiosity of our customers around the world. So that really hasn't changed between the music company, PlayStation, and certainly uh, Sony overall. How, how does it feel transitioning into being a more kind of public figure? Like I'm seeing you photoshopped onto, onto things now. You're kind of like an internet meme everywhere. How does, how does it feel to see that? What's your response to that? Well, you know, I, I think that, uh, especially with the PlayStation business, uh, I used to get that a lot as well, uh, even when I was running the PlayStation business in the US, whether it's YouTube or, you know, just other websites. Uh, and, you know, obviously the gaming world, uh, you know, has a tendency of really enjoying that. Yeah, um, sure. And I've come to also, you know, look at it, uh, you know, from the perspective of, oh, you know, that's really creative, so I enjoy. Uh, you know, some of the stuff that, uh, that folks have done. I like to think that the visibility that, uh, that I get is not a visibility of me personally, but in fact a representation of the visibility that Sony gets worldwide. So I, I'm, I'm more positive about it. Finally, Stacy Donaldson wants to know what areas of innovation we can expect from Sony this year. What are you guys really focusing on? One of the things that I've really spent the past year uh, doing at Sony was really, first of all, spending a lot of time visiting all of our Sony businesses and sites around the world. Uh, so obviously Sony Music, uh, Sony Pictures, Sony Financial Services in Japan, uh, a lot of our manufacturing facilities. As a matter of fact, I was down in Brazil and Manaus. Uh, in Thailand, uh, in Malaysia, wow. um, so 16 countries and I think at last count 45 different locations throughout the Sony group and really seeing for myself what really the Sony DNA is all about. Uh, and I've gotten to see a lot uh, over the past uh, year or so. Um, and through that, um, we've been able to really change the company and make sure that it's headed in the right direction. This fiscal year, uh, I want to spend more of my time, obviously visiting sites is very important, but really focused on bringing new experiences to our customers. Um, and, you know, in, in a variety of different ways, uh, you know, whether it's enjoying video content, whether it's enjoying music, uh, taking photos, uh, obtaining information, sharing information, sharing content, all the things that you do digitally. There are a lot of things that, you know, I think uh, what I would call pain points 
that we can still work on to really bring a compelling experience. And those are the kind of things that I want to spend a little bit more time on this fiscal year working on so that it will manifest itself in great products uh, down the road. So just sort of removing those barriers between people and the things that they enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, a lot of things, it, it's still conceptual to take a digital photo, for example. You have to hold the camera, you have to hold a smartphone, um, and you know, you have to have some sort of a device. Uh, but, you know, just the question I ask, is there a better way to do that? I'm looking at you right yeah. now. I want to take a picture right now without having to hold a camera, for example. Now, conceptually, that's yeah. great, but realistically, that's probably not possible. But, you know, how can I get it a step closer to that um, so that, you know, it, it's more about the experience and perhaps less about having to hold a particular device? Kaz, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down and answer some community questions. You guys, thank you for sending in your questions to Twitter and Facebook. Keep doing that. And we know you guys had a lot of PS4 questions. E3 is just a couple days away. I will be hosting a live stream from E3 all three days. So we will be answering all of those questions then. Be sure to check that out and be sure to subscribe to youtube.com signal for more about everything Sony.